David, sum that up for us, please. Frustrating. And disappointing. Frustrating, disappointing, but can you put a finger on anything there? I need a break. I need a break at times. Um, at the better of the chances um, throughout the game. And probably test the keeper as we did like last week. But um, no, I got very disappointed changing them in there and uh, a lot of players um, certainly down. Would you yourself say that the, the players have that as a fault of their own today? Yeah, I can. I certainly understand the frustrations of the fans at half time. I have no complaint about that, none whatsoever. But second half, we did everything but score. We need a break at times, and I, I'm sure that you know that, that, that I don't mind fans voicing their opinion. That's no problem whatsoever. Um, certainly, half time, you know, I gave the boys a, um, a reminder of their responsibilities, of course. But uh, at the end, um, when we needed a break, we just couldn't find one. And um, we have to take that on the chin. Would you accept that it was a deserved victory for Tama? Um, I think they defended very well. I certainly believe that. Um, I felt we, we, we huffed and puffed. We just didn't really get that a little bit of uh, uh, much needed um, confidence in front of goal. But, you know, the boys are not going to fall with their efforts. I just feel that at times we need a bit of a break here. and. Certainly, I, I can. I respect the fans' up frustration. I have no problem with that at uh, halftime, and um, you know, I'll accept people shouting and screaming at me. That's no problem. But uh, what I ask was um, is to get behind the players. When you say give us a break, is that what you mean? Give us a break. Well, we need a break at times in, in, in fortune, and sometimes you get a little bit of good fortune. We uh, we worked very hard in the first half without perhaps. I mean, we had a very early chance, and that would have been nice to have taken that to give us a platform to move on to. Um, you know, when teams are coming here to frustrate and putting five in midfield, you have to, and I've got to be honest, I mean, our pitch it wasn't helpful to be able to pass the ball, and perhaps we need to look at the way we, the system we play is where perhaps we do have to go um, beyond that, but you know, you've got football players in there, and, and in the second half I thought we, we contained it, but um, we just didn't get that little bit of luck in front of the goal again. You're obviously disappointed, it's easy when the adrenaline's running at the, the end of the game to say almost anything, mm. but what did you say to them when they came in? That will remain private. Again, um, we we all win together, and we've won many games. So, as much as I'm frustrated um, and disappointed, of course, uh, you know my players have to understand that they've got a, a responsibility to when they go over that line, when they cross that line, you've got to go out there and make sure they're giving 150 percent. And uh, I won't ever question them that. Uh, but at times, um, very frustrating. It's easy to say the league now we've got to concentrate on that there is that is what there is the league that is the most important thing <coughs> well, we've taken every game since we've been at the football club on its merit and the cup hasn't been kind to us has it certainly hasn't been kind to you will the league be kinder let's hope so thank you david pleasure okay. yeah. Yeah. Up to out for we won't find that john we won't find out so we can... Well, David, another frustrating day when we spoke before the match. We uh, talked about how we can't see the chances, eyes on Wembley, and uh, a bit of blow. A bit of blow, yeah. It's been a tough day. Um, certainly, um, little things have cost us. But um, I'm not a man to make excuses. We have to take that on the chin, and I will as a manager, and the players will as players. But, um, I'm looking forward to hopefully getting a full side again soon, and uh, having the shuffle and rearrange teams. Like I said, I'm not here to make excuses, but um, today the ball didn't drop for us nicely, and um, on another day it will. Is it one of those situations? I mean, the ball—you said the ball didn't drop for you nicely. That almost started at the start of the week. Four players out through illness, and things just haven't gone well, have they? No, no, no. There's obviously um, a danger that that might spread inside the club, and like I say I don't want to make excuses. Um, I'm not here to do that. But likewise, we have to evaluate everything, and um, you know, when we look at it, you're losing two. You, you know two defenders this week that are solid defenders and um, I felt we, we switched off for the goal, first goal. But as I say, we've got very capable players at the football club and um, it's down to them to want to cross that line, make sure they go out there and, and do the best. Going back to, well, just after three o'clock, there's almost a what-if scenario with uh, Lee Morris's first chance after, what, four minutes, was it? Yeah, there's three what-ifs, weren't there, today. Um, I didn't see Tamworth getting those what-ifs throughout the game. We've created them through good play 
and uh, passing. But we didn't test the keeper, we didn't hit the target, and that leaves disappointed that he hasn't done that. And um, <coughs> we've got to give uh, the boy respect, and he knows himself. But you know, I'm not going to lose faith in the, the chap. He's been around long enough to know that he's disappointed in himself. We talked about the players that are out with illness. Also a blow, I'm sure, to uh, see Alan Murray at Limpoff before half-time. What's the news on him? Well, at the moment, he's just had ice on it, and we'll evaluate that tomorrow morning. Um, players will be in, and then we'll go from there. Really. Um, I assume it goes without saying that you hope that he's back to full fitness ASAP. Yeah, of course, yeah. I mean, Tim Simon is a young goalkeeper, and you know, he, 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 at that age, you know, it's a hell of a responsibility. But uh, Alan's a, a very capable man, as we know, and we'll hopefully we'll uh, be able to be uh, available for selection again uh, next week. Would it be fair to say that it's not been uh, Mansfield's year for cup tournaments? Yeah, I'm not going to have a cup tonight. I'm going to have to have a mug um, or a bowl. But uh, certainly aspects of the game today, I think, that weren't, weren't what we wanted. But there's a lot of there's some, some positives there. I felt um, the officiating today was some of the worst I've seen. And again, I, I'm not here to make excuses, but we look at the overall picture. I can't believe how many cards were given out. And um, it wasn't a bad tackle in the game. It was appalling referee. The tackle was on Ryan Williams. I don't know what your man saw. I don't know whether it was uh, referee, refereed at this uh, level before or above. But um, on that performance, I, I can firmly say I know what my my rating will be. We meant private, but uh, that was a uh, contributed as well. To look at things like that. What's your reaction to the fans' reaction at the final whistle? Um, disappointing, but. I respect it, I understand it, I, and they want to do well, and, and, and I, rightly so. Um, I wouldn't say it was a load of rubbish, the, 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 the performance wasn't a load of rubbish, the result was a load of rubbish. But I do respect the fans' decision to, to say that, no problem. Um, they've had a lot of good times here, not, not before I came. And I'm very positive in the way we do things, and certainly the, um, the players. I mean, you've got a young boy, like Oli Otskis, who hears that. doesn't make him want to stay, does it? And I've had a, you know, the young man was a little bit upset. If he doesn't want to hear that, you've got to pick people up. I respect that, that, that over the years here, there's been a tendency to turn on managers and on players. I've no problem. No problem whatsoever. But all I would say is that when you're having a, a sticky time, you find out about people. And the, the human nature of people is to get the ump. All I'd say is just the guidance we're trying to imply here and the performance is good. If you don't get that luck sometimes, it, it, it's painful, it hurts you. But I've been in the game long enough to know that when you stick together and you have that uh, mechanism in belief, you can turn things around. Um, but the, the games that we've been upset in have both been cup games, so it's um, painful in that respect. But no, I've got no problem with fans. I think that the fans are good people. Um, they've had tough times over the years here. I don't want them to have any more tough times. Of course I don't. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the guy that wants to shout abuse at me at the end, that's no problem. It's up to him. It's his frustrations. My frustrations are that we haven't got the result for the majority of the fans, because they're good people. Thanks, David.